Okay guys, so part two here, just to wrap up. So basically, lower than 380, ball is just fine. Whether it's 380 or under, ball FMJ is just fine. This is as good as a hollow point. Yeah, 380 is really debatable. 38, kind of debatable between wad cutters, semi-wad cutters, and hollow points. 38 is really weird to get good hollow points. There's probably a few hollow points that perform better than ball or FMJ. So basically, under... It's okay. Nine millimeter above, it's really not okay with a couple of possible exceptions. And I would say the main exception would be 45 AARP, 45 ACP. Okay, 45 ACP, guys. Would I carry this if I worked at an environment close to other people in a restaurant or uh, in a subway? I took the subway all the time now because there is a, you know, over penetration risk. In reality, hitting a human body, is this going to over-penetrate? And even if it did, it's probably going to have such low velocities. It hits that skin and that back t-shirt. It's going to go bloop and fall to the ground or maybe like go in somebody's body and give them a little injury and pot and be even in the head. It probably wouldn't penetrate to the skull, the chest. It probably wouldn't penetrate bone more than a few inches probably uh i don't know i know it's never happened with a civilian though so if anyone's older and they carry 45 ball personally i don't really have a problem with it do i carry 45 ball no would i carry 45 ball in a backup magazine it's something i've debated um i don't i use critical duty as a backup round something that would penetrate more than my main hollow points is there better choices yes hst golden saber stuff that's gonna really expand and become huge, like almost double this size, which is already big, gonna do much better damage. So 45 ACP, couldn't get away with it, yeah. The backup magazine, maybe second backup magazine if you're in a single stack, yeah, okay. Primary, no, but is it acceptable? Kinda. Uh, 40 cal, kinda the same thing. I mean, even for a little while, Detroit PD used um, 40 cal ball ammo that's flat nose so it does a little bit better like a wad cutter they actually use that a bit but they had some over penetration issues uh, detroit pd 40 has more velocity a little more energy than 45 basic 45 anyway so keep that in mind um so anyway guys ball versus hollow points hopefully that cleared things up a little bit it really depends on the caliber the velocity etc if it's a sub caliber you know what you you can go with ball if you trust that it functions and i make sure you always look at your primers and make sure they're seated properly and the bullets check a few of them to make sure that everything seems seated properly before loading it for self-defense and you should really run a few hundred rounds to your gun to make sure it functions good if you can afford to or with hollow points you know at least 25 or so i'd say um, and a few hundred rounds of regular ammunition before you trusted anything. But anyway, ball versus F, uh, versus hollow points. Hopefully that cleared it up a little bit. What caliber is it's actually acceptable to use good old fashioned hardball. Guys, please thumbs up, please share, please subscribe. Hit that subscription button, yo. And I'll catch you on the flip side. Look at my other video. What ammunition, self-defense ammo should I choose? Thank you.